Hello everybody, um, today we're actually going to talk about how to prepare for a big poker tournament or a big poker series. So um, we're talking about not your, not your normal average series, we're actually talking about your series that you go to, say the World Series of Poker or even just a you know, three day, four day event for a multiple of poker tournaments. So uh, I just wanted to sort of talk to you guys about how to actually prepare for these things and how to actually um, make the most out of your opportunities at these things. So first off, the best way to actually prepare for a big tournament is actually studying. So you need to study um, different poker strategies, different poker uh, ways to play poker, um, also different uh, ways to um, improve your game. So you've got to um, definitely study up. Uh, now I'm not talking about studying the day before, uh, the, even the two, three days before. I'm talking about studying coming up to a month before um, and the last, at least the last three weeks before just to get your game right on point and just to sort of um, get your game to the point where it needs to be for these big tournaments. Because if you don't study um, and actually get your game fine-tuned, you're actually going to go in pretty rusty. Uh, even if you're playing a lot of cash or even smaller tournaments, a lot of these big tournament poker schedules um, are deeper stack. They're also um, very um, poker oriented, so you don't really have a lot of time to reflect on stuff. So um, you need to do all your studying beforehand and get it into your game. So if you want to play small ball poker, um, which is something that Daniel Negrano um, is a big um, purveyor of, or if you want to just change your game up slightly, um, you need to study this well and truly before you're actually going to actually be there. So uh, that's one of the main things. Now, also another one is getting your sleep schedule right. Uh, your sleep schedule is massive for these things because you can't go in half, half um, awake. You can't also go in not on a proper sleep schedule. If your tournaments are going to be starting at midday and going to midnight, you don't want to be coming in with a sleep schedule where you're getting up at 6 o'clock every morning and going to bed at 8 or 9 at night because you're just not going to uh, actually play that poker tournament right. You're going to get overtired. Uh, you're going to have to rely on stimulants like uh, energy drinks or um, caffeine just to get you through. And it's actually going to stuff your sleep schedule for the rest of the um, rest of the time. So you got to get on the right sleep schedule, study your um, schedule that you're going to need and make sure that in the late weeks leading up to it, you're actually on that schedule. Now, another thing that you've also got to think about is your diet. Um, I will talk about this a little bit more extensively um, in my next video when I actually talk about what you're going to actually do at these big tournaments. But you've got to make sure that you're eating right before you do any of these tournaments. Make sure you've got enough nutrients in. Make sure you're eating your, your, you know, your veggies, your fruit. Um, make sure that you're um, drinking plenty of water. Uh, and you're very, de uh, you're very hydrated for these poker tournaments because uh, you're going to have long days. Uh, you need all the energy that you can get. And if you're um, surviving off junk food before you go to these tournaments, um, and with a lot of these tournaments where they are played, uh, sometimes the uh, food choices aren't the greatest. So um, you don't want to be coming in with the mentality of, oh, yeah, well, I'll eat what I'm going to eat at these poker tournaments because you need to have those nutrients and you need to actually have your mind at the top of its game. Um, water is especially a big thing. You really need to be hydrated, um, especially probably at least a week leading up to it. Make sure you've got your, you know, your two litres of water a day or at least enough water for you to be hydrated. Some people need more than two litres. Some people, people need less than two litres. But having being hydrated, you're actually going to make a lot more clearer decisions on these things. Um, and that's where we come into the next part, mentality. Um, I, I see a lot of players that um, don't ride the waves of poker very well. They go on tilt um, and they just have the bad a bad mentality when it comes to uh, they're going into big tournaments and they don't think they're going to win. You need to go into these tournaments thinking that you're going to win. You need to go into these tournaments confident in your game that you're actually going to run deep and win it. If you're already going in with a bad mental state, you're actually going to lose. If you're already going in thinking, oh, well, I just get done on the river every single time, you are going to get done on the river every single time. It's just going to, it's just what's going to happen um, because you put yourself in that frame of, frame of mind. I'm a big believer in you, what you want in the world, you put out in the world. And um, I think it really does work for poker. I re like, the odds are going to be there, but if you are running a bad mentality, 
you're going to really notice when somebody does bad beat you and it's just going to put you on tilt and it's just going to put you in a bad frame of mind and you'll just get knocked out of tournament. So you need to get your mentality right before the tournament. So you need to, and um, by doing that, by studying, by sleeping right, by diet, you're actually going to be able to do this a lot better. Um, so you need to get the right mentality in and saying, yep, I can do this. I'm going to cash this tournament. A lot of the poker pros that I've actually talked to said that the biggest score of their lives have actually been when they actually believed that they were going to do it. Um, yeah, Scott Blumstein is one that um, obviously won the main event. Um, it wasn't the main event he was talking about, but he um, he was having a bad run and he actually just wrote on his Twitter feed, uh, going to win uh, um, MTT. Um, soon and he actually did it because he had that mentality he had that mentality that I'm gonna win my game's good enough to win one of these I'm gonna win it so you need to have that before you go to the um, tournament so don't forget study up uh, with uh, two to three weeks before and study right up to about two days before and then sort of just clear your mind of poker a little bit uh, sleep right um, make sure you've got the diet and make sure you're drinking plenty of water and make sure you got that mentality on point um, okay, so next video I'm actually going to talk about what to do when you actually get to one of these big tournament um, series uh, and about what uh, some just little some tips and hints about how to actually make your tournaments um, a lot easier, easier to navigate. Um, and yeah, I'll also be doing a poker blog very shortly. That should be my, in my very next video coming out. I'm actually working on that at the moment, just the cash game that I played. So um, thank you very much, very much for everybody who's watching these videos. Um, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really does help build the channels, um, and we can put out a lot more videos um, that will, than what we currently are. Um, we are going to have a little bit of a location change over the next few. Um, I'm actually getting a little bit of a different space, so um, I will be putting up, um, we'll be seeing a little bit more of not just um, the background, but we'll be seeing a little bit more light and stuff like that. So um, you will see that shortly. Um, but again, thank you very much. And if you haven't caught them, I've got some uh, videos just up here. Um, feel free to click on them. Um, one of them will be of my poker vlogs. So um, yeah, I feel free to actually watch those. Some of them really um, explains the way that I play poker and the way that I think about poker. So uh, until then, I'll see you next time.